Hi everyone, I am Amrita and today's video is about which salt you should eat if you are pregnant. Nowadays, there are so many different kinds of salts that we eat. Regular table salt, black salt, pink salt, etc. How are these different from one another and which one of these should you be eating if you are pregnant? Let's first just get one thing very very clear. All of these salts are almost 100% sodium chloride and too much of this is not going to be good for your health no matter which salt you pick. Now you do need some salt during pregnancy also and usually what you add to food to taste is enough. So then what makes these salts different from one another? Most salts apart from regular table salt contains trace minerals like iron, magnesium, copper etc. And you might think that since this salt has minerals, that this is great for you and that these are the salts that you should be picking during your pregnancy. But these salts lack one super important nutrient which is abundant in your regular old table salt, iodine. In our country, it is a government mandate that regular table salt has to be iodized. This means that iodine is externally added to the salt after the salt has been refined and cleaned. Now you definitely want all of this iodine when you are pregnant because your iodine needs go up by almost 50% from baseline. Most of this iodine is used by the mother's body to make thyroid hormone both for herself as well as for the baby, especially during the first trimester where the baby's thyroid is not as yet developed and can't make its own thyroid hormones. And why is the thyroid important? Because it plays a major role in the growth and development of both the mother as well as the baby. Iodine is very commonly found in dairy and in seafood. But since not everybody eats enough of these foods, the government made it mandatory to iodize salt, which is a food that everybody eats so often. This is how important iodine is as a nutrient. Pink salt, black salt, these don't have iodine. Or if they do, it's present in really insignificant amounts which will be of no help. These salts are not externally iodized. If you remember I mentioned earlier that there are several small trace minerals present in all these other kinds of salts. But these minerals are present in such small amounts that they are not likely to create any kind of significant impact on your health. In fact, you could be getting all of these and more simply by eating a regular balanced diet. So if you are pregnant or planning a pregnancy, please eat regular iodized table salt. You can still occasionally use your pinks and blacks for food presentation of a flavor, but for a regular basis, please use regular iodized table salt. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel and share this video with others who will also find it helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, you can leave them in the comments below or reach out to me on Instagram. I hope to hear from you very soon. Until then, take care.